field O2, armor shredding and critical. Critical I'm not a fan of, but armor shredding, big fan. No build, right? Yeah, no build, no build. Speed, speed's annoying. 10%, right? Yeah, 10%, a lot of hit points. Cleansing, removes all negative effects. Eh, not a big deal. Healing, that's annoying. Can't build. And a bunch of my maze is blocked. So, can't build plus a bunch of the may is blocked is a little bit annoying right now everything's gonna come right by this speed beacon right by this camp build right by this healing if I wanted to change that I'd have to kill a bunch of these barricades which have decent hit points not much armor I mean, really, I think I want to kill this thing. Eventually, I can worry about other stuff. How many waves have we got? 35. What do you want? Shoot with bolt three times to open. That might be worth doing, too. Like, early. Why not? It's just a bolt spell. The cant builds are a little bit annoying because they're hard to shoot. But they don't matter. Like, I could do my full wall, full maze, even with those there. I don't really need to unlock this whole maze. Feel like just that much of it is sufficient. Put that there. Put it to structure. I mean, really, once this maze opens up, that creates a shortcut for them, kind of. I guess I would like to destroy those. I feel like I could just skip all of this destroying those structures. What does their armor start at? Eh. I mean, eventually their path should be coming. How would I want to do this? Yeah. Eventually the path would be coming through here. In which case... That's an ideal spot for traps. I'm just going to hold off on the traps since they don't have too much armor right now anyways. I mean, I could do, like, eventually they'll all be coming through here. But I don't have any towers after that. Yeah, no big deal. Ah, why is it hitting the stupid blocking one? But it's going to keep hitting the stupid blocking one. At least it's dying pretty quick. These, I'd like it to quickly get through all the armor. That way I can upgrade to non-armor shredding. Not that it matters. But just while it's a pure, might as well. Kill the armor in a couple shots. Okay, is that one gem going to make it? Yeah, it's doing pretty good. How's this one? Pretty good. I 
have the one orblet. That might hit him. Got him. Oh, nearest to orb works fine for these. It's just these that it doesn't. Okay, that's a little bit bad. Not too bad. not going to be able to save up anyways till 3670 without building more towers that actually kill stuff that I need to be killing. I have so much tied up back in these ones that I don't need to be killing. Oh, yeah, I see how that would be blocking now. Kind of annoying that this doesn't reach that blocking one. I thought it would. Screw it. Spend all my money. Now it should at least reach the blocking one, I think. And I'm really curious if beam hits it. I don't think it does. Okay, it doesn't. But the beam's saved up from when the swarmlings start to run by. So yeah, still 3.5 seconds left because it spent like none of that time killing them. Okay, these two I'm also going to want to kill. What do you mean, not enough mana? I'm gonna use that just so that it gets me lots of hits. Yeah, 555 hits. This one only has 121 hits, 134, but it still has 2.7 seconds left on its laser. And I do need to shoot this with a bolt three times. This won't even come close to reaching that, no. How am I doing? Not great. Here, kill that one's armor. You can have a laser beam again. confused why this one switched targets. Maybe because I upgraded it to a tier 2 gem? Must be. Okay, I want my pool to fill up. I have tons of spells.
pool filled up. I was ready to freeze. Freeze now. Double freeze. In the hopes that I can fill up my pool again. But I probably can't. trying to save for the pool, but that'll do a lot more damage to these. A lot quicker. Then once this one's destroyed, I can come over here. Nice thing is that's a third gem that they have to run by too. Although I'm going to set it to structure and I'll just have to change it if they start running by. Kill the swarmlings. Got them. Yeah, every time this thing hits these really slow giants, they get faster and faster. And how's their armor? He doesn't have any because these shredded it. Yeah, they've got an okay amount of armor right now. Okay, they'll be coming down here, up here, through here. And I'll want most of my towers where I've already got them built. So really, this is where I'd want to do my armor shredding. Except I don't want to spend too much on it because... I'm trying to save. Well, no, because I just filled, I think. Do nearest to orb. Shoot him. Doesn't matter, I have an orblet, but that's still annoying. Okay, kill him. Now, stuff is starting to take the maze the wrong way. So, I would like it to go here, 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 so I want to block here. So the last two that I really need to destroy are these. And they should go fairly quick. Okay, if I just set you to structure, will it do the closest structure? I think it's time to upgrade that. Oh, I screwed up. I didn't leave a spell. It's okay. I've got that spell.
he's gonna go get my orblet. And yes, it did hit. Okay, it almost did what I wanted. Now, all I need to do is block that. And I guess I put it here. Two, three. That dropped a thousand mana. It's not bad. Okay, you're the last one of these that I have to destroy. Kill the stupid giant. Once it does that, I can move this big gem. And if I already lasered this, yes. Laser again. They only have 47 armor, and these things shred 33 if they both just hit it once. Plus all my other towers have a little bit of armor shredding. This one has a lot. I'd like to kill this. Just for the XP. Here, you attack structure. Got it. Cool. I guess why not? Good game. Both of these are experience gain. Both of them are pretty lame. Oh, three. Let's do it. Poison and bleeding. Wizard stash with 3,000 shields. That's a stupid amount. For only 32 waves. Monster's nest I could take out. 20 armor hurts a bit since I have no armor shredding. That's a pretty annoying place for that to be though. The nice thing is, I don't care much about all these paths. These two big paths... I could just have come up through here and into here. The only problem there is that this monster nest path is super short. So I just have to put a big gem there and be sure that I can hit the monster's nest and kill it. I think I just wall these with normal walls. I think that might be my plan. I mean, I could build... at least that much. And for traps... not like a super good choke point but I'm guessing everything will run over that spot and another trap so that everything has enhanced damage except for these stupid monster nests I'm 
monster nest is going down quick. This thing. Ooh, okay, never mind. Wait, can both shoot through the shield? I don't think they can. I was going to say, that's the only way that I can think of. Or if gem bombs could go through the shield. I might have to try that right at the end. Okay, just kill this. Good. Quick and easy. Now, where's a good place for tower? I like that. Ideally, I'd have a really big gem here have it shoot all this, but I haven't been making really big gems yet. I think I'd leave that for now, which is a little bit annoying. Okay, since my spells are just built up, though. Well, I'll keep this nearest to orb and I'll just target this. So, let's see if with four it gets through shields. With bolts. Nope. So the next question is, once those bolts are up, with lasers, maybe the laser takes out shields super fast. That might be the secret. Yeah, yeah, I use the bolts just because I feel stupid. Ooh, pretty fast. So that is the answer, I think. Kind of sucks because I can't laser enhance these like I would like to. Ready to freeze. And be ready to freeze again. Right now. I think that should do it. Need more lasers. No, I don't think I switched those while Swarmlings are overrunning my defenses. Okay, kill the one more. Now I can switch them. I doubt that makes a difference with lasers, but we'll see. Doesn't seem like it did. And I should put this to structures. I saw the flicker that tells me something flying is going to come. Seems like as soon as you get rid of that monster's nest, this level's pretty easy, but maybe not. There it is. It's like the first time I've spotted it from super far away. Okay, since I'm using all my lasers, I guess I'll spend these on the gems.
that guy's worth 1200 mana too so it's worth killing Okay, shoot him. Arg! now I wish that I had saved one of these. I'm gonna have to build a tower just to kill him. That's pretty annoying. Luckily, he's super weak. I think I could be moving this gem to somewhere where it does more good. Let's do that. Just need to laser this like three more times probably. See if I end up regretting skipping. Uh, yeah, I'll let my mana pool fill up. Yeah, I would say two more of those. Ooh, I didn't even notice there was another flying guy. Sneaky. Super sneaky. Filled up. Can I get one more? Probably not. One more laser should do this, though. Armor, 44. I mean, 44 starts to block a good amount of my damage. But that's one of the last waves. And it's giants, so they're super slow. And there's only three of them. You. Kill this. Done. And I have a ton of mana. I can easily build more towers, which I think I'm going to do. I feel like I could just skip all these remaining levels. But maybe that's being too aggressive. Get a bunch of hits. Kill a bleeding giant with poison. 100% intentional. Definitely. Okay, skip those last waves. for you. No, I don't. I didn't read what that said. Reach 20 non-monsters killed through all the battles. Okay. I guess that's like buildings. That one's not bad. 
This one's terrible. Field token. The final field token for O. Alright, that does it for this recording. I'll probably be trying this one next time. And... Yeah. Alright, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, all the good stuff. Thanks. Bye.